Hello and welcome to WP Beginner. In this video, I'll show you how to install WordPress on your website. First thing we're going to look at is how to get a hosting account. I'll walk you through the whole setting up a hosting account. We're going to use Bluehost for this. Bluehost is one of the hosting providers that we recommend to our visitors. So I'm going to walk you through how to set that up with them. Under products, you can see many of the shared hosting or the WordPress hosting and just want to compare which one is best for you. If you look down below or somewhere on this page, you'll see a WP Beginner coupon that you use to get started. If you have your domain name already picked out that you've bought from GoDaddy or something, you can put that here. I'm going to walk you through how to set it up with a brand new domain. And we'll try and see if that one's available. How to start a WordPress site. Okay. And great, so then you have to enter all the information, uh, all your account information here. And then I'll also need to fill out the billing information. So while I do that, I'm just going to go ahead and pause this until I get done with that. Okay, so I submitted my billing and credit card information, and now here we are, and they say congratulations. They likely have some initial or specials to offer you. I'll just say no thanks here. And now we need to create a password. And you also want to confirm that you've read and agree to their terms. So let's see if we can come up with a password. Okay, so we've got a password. So now you've set up a hosting account with Bluehost. I'll scroll down and I'm looking for this area. So from here, we'll just click install. This is talking about it. if you want to do it yourself, you can do it, or you can have them do it, and they'll charge you to set it all up. So we'll do it ourselves. We'll click Install here. From here, you want to tell them where to install it. Uh, here's the drop down. I want to install it without the www, and I want to install it in my main directory. So I'm not going to fill anything out here. Check, make sure everything looks okay. And now it's saying you need to say yes to the terms. And I'll show you what the advanced options say. With the advanced options, it'll show you what your site name is and your admin username and the admin password. That's what it will assign for you. So that's what the advanced options are. Let's go ahead and click install now. It'll tell you that information later, so you don't have to worry about that right now. So now it's going through the install process, and while it's going through that, it's going to show you a few things. As you can see, here's a status progress there, and while you're waiting, it shows you some ways that you can maybe buy a WordPress theme or a template. We're not going to do that. I'll show you how you can find a very decent looking free theme that you can do. So now that the install is complete, we'll go ahead and look at everything. I'm going to scroll down and you want to view everything. This is where the information is on how to access our website. Uh, as you see, you'll want to bookmark these. The admin URL will be the same for everybody. It's yourwebsite.com slash WP admin. And then this is the front end website. I'm going to show you what it looks like now that it's WordPress has been installed. So this is what it looks like. They've given us a coming soon page while we are setting up our site. And when you access your site, they'll even give you a way to access it directly. Again, you can either type in wplogin.php or just wp-admin and it'll bring you to the same page. Your username and password is what they gave you here. So you'll want to copy that somewhere, save it for safekeeping. And so I'm going to log in and show you a few things. All right, and this is the back end. Now, certain hosting companies have partnered with third-party marketplaces, and that's why you're seeing this here. It's kind of like when you get a new computer, and the computer already has a lot of advertisements or games installed. I'm going to click No Thanks, because we're going to set it up ourselves. So we're going to do a little bit of cleanup. Now that we have a site, 
let's do a little bit of cleanup on here. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go to plugins and I want to remove some of this stuff because I just don't want it. Akismet is actually a decent plugin that you want to keep and you want to look at setting it up. That keeps spam from coming to your site. Hello Dolly is an old plugin to just show you what a plugin can do. The Mojo Marketplace is what you're seeing here with all the let us do everything for you. So I'm going to remove all of these three. To remove them, if they're activated, we need to first deactivate them and apply. And then we can click on inactive, highlight all of them, and we can delete them. So we'll do that. And it's going to ask, do you want to, you know, remove all the data and the files associated with these plugins? Let's click yes. So now that we removed everything, there's a, it's cleaned it up a little bit over here. There's not as many things to look at or worry about. And what we have right now, it's also removed, since we removed the Mojo thing, it also removed the coming page. So we probably have, yep, we have the default 2015 theme installed. And that is our site right now. So one of the things you can do is go in and let's start looking at a couple of themes. By default, they'll keep the last few free themes that come along with WordPress and you'll have those, but we can add a new one. I just want to show you how easy it is to go out and find a free theme to install on your website. And all the themes from here are in the WordPress repository. And they means that they have been reviewed, their code quality and whatnot has all been reviewed and it has passed and these are free in here. So you can scroll through here. You can get lost actually scrolling through and looking at all the themes that are out there and picking one that's perfect for your site, for your business. You can also do feature filter. If you know kind of how you want your layout to be, then use the feature filter to kind of reduce the number of themes that you're looking for. Say you already know that you want a predominantly blue colored theme. If you want a responsive layout, that means that it works on tablets, smartphones, as well as desktops. If you want, if you know what the column, you know, if you want a left sidebar or a right sidebar, a lot of websites do the right sidebar. So I'll show you that that's what that looks like. And then you can look under the features. If there are certain features that you know you want, say you want a big custom header, or big custom logo up there, you can pick that. Or if you want a custom background, or if you want featured images for your site, you know, those are, those are the things you can pare down and look at. But I'm just going to keep these items applied and we're going to apply those features. And then this is what comes back. If there's one that catches your eye, you can take a look at it and you can do a live preview first before installing it. And this is going to go through and it's going to show you what the website would look like. So we've got a big blog area. There'd be definitely some tweaking that you'll want to do. But if you like the overall view, you can click install there. I'm going to click back and keep looking. And this one I like. So I'm going to go ahead and install it. You can do the same. Again, this is a personal preference area, but there's so many free themes out there that you can go in and look at and add to your site. So right now we have this one. It's active. And to show you what it looks like with just the bare bones, I'm going to go back to my site and click refresh. And so with that, We've now installed WordPress on our site. We've added a new theme and you can customize it however you want and move forward. If you like this video, click on the like button and go ahead and leave us a comment there. We'd love to hear from you and subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the latest videos.